Guys, I finally found it. The true prologue of ReZero. No, this is not my head cannon. No, this is not my opinion. The witch cult translations who translate ReZero content from the web novel has denoted this as being prologue. I have found the prologue. This is where ReZero starts, not episode 18. Let's see the prologue. This is really bad. He felt the hard floor against his cheek and realized that he had collapsed onto his face. His strength was completely gone, and he had already lost sensation in his fingers. And the heat from his core was so excruciating, it made him want to tear his throat out. Hot, 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 hot. The moment he opened his mouth to scream, what spilled forth was no shriek. It was a clump of blood. He vomited up large quantities of his lifeblood as he coughed. Frothy blood started foaming up at the corners of his mouth as he gurgled. This is so fucking descriptive, bro. <laughs> Within his dim field of view, the ground had been dyed red. Ah, this is all my blood? There was enough to soak his fallen body. Blood comprises about 8% of the human body. And it is said that losing about a third of that would be life-threatening. But, it seemed to him that he had already lost just about all of it. He had stopped vomiting blood, but the heat that felt as through as though it would incinerate him still persisted. He moved his hand towards his abdomen with great difficulty. Ah, is this the loot seller? Is this Subaru getting cut up by Elsa in the first run? And having felt an impossible sensation there, he understood. My stomach's been torn open, huh? It was no wonder he felt so hot. It seemed his brain had confused pain for heat. He was almost torn in half. Only a bit of skin at his back held him together. In short, it seemed that this was a checkmate for him. The moment he realized this, his consciousness started fading. Even the heat, which was making him writhe in agony, had disappeared. Even the unpleasant feeling of blood and the sensation in the hand he used to feel his organs, it was all fading away along with his consciousness. All that was left was his body, which would not be able to accompany his soul. This body used the last of its disappearing consciousness to move just a little. It turned its head upwards. The body was not accompanying his soul. Remember, a soul and a body, it's different shit. Of course it is, but like, sounds like Subaru's soul is leaving him, but his body is moving. Black shoes form ripples in the pool of blood before his eyes. There was someone there, and that someone was most likely the one who killed him. Strangely, he didn't feel like looking at their face. This person was the one who took his life, and yet he still decided to simply remain a spectator to his own demise. He had no clue who they were, but right now, he didn't really care about that. That's gotta be Elsa, right? He only wished for this girl's safety. Something Baru. He felt like he heard a voice like the chime of a bell. He was beyond the point where he could even differentiate his senses, so he probably just imagined it. Despite that, even supposing it wasn't real, he found it extremely comforting. So! Uh, a short scream! And then the carpet of blood welcomed yet another person. So this is when Subaru was already facing the ground. He got slit in the loot cellar by Elsa. And now Amelia showed up and also died. She had fallen right next to him, exactly where his arm was. Her fair hand dropped powerlessly and intertwined within his. Probably just a coincidence. He felt her fingers move slightly as if squeezing his hand. I... I... Wait. He forced his disappearing consciousness to return for a moment. The pain and the heat. Everything had faded away. It was a meaningless effort. Nothing but a loser wasting time. But even so, I will definitely save you. And at that moment, Natsuki Subaru lost his life. And if this is the prologue, again, I always go back to this scene for when he got the regression powers. It is still my head cannon. It's my theory that during this first run of ReZero, Satala granted him the power of regression because he had this desperate love and this desire to save Amelia no matter what. And Amelia is an important vessel for the day of the ordeal when Satala could possess him. 
even if I'm not perfectly correct there, I just feel like this is the beginning of the end and the end of the beginning, right? The episode one was just like that too. And this scene happened in tandem with the anime where Subaru was coming out of the fucking, you know, the 7-Eleven. And then this shit was happening, but that was an anime only thing. But I still feel like, again, this is everything. His desire, his will to save Amelia, Satala recognizing that and saving, I mean, giving him the regression power. That's my headcanon. And this is officially the prologue. Now, I don't think that I'm going to go out of my way to like read literally <laughs> everything here. I don't think that's a good idea. But what I will do is cover this stuff. There's a lot of good cut content that I think is essential for us anime onlys to figure out what's going on and to really supplement the theory crafting when we actually do the anime reactions. And that's it. This is the prologue. I don't give a fuck about your headcanon. This is the prologue. I swear to God, if Tape didn't say this is a prologue and the witch's cult did, then damn it. But no, this is the prologue. Fuck you.